welcome back to another motivational vlog so today I'm gonna to be taking you guys along with us because we have a lot that needs to get done today so I'm gonna be cooking dinner I have to start pretty early because I'm gonna be making chicken and dumplings chicken and dumplings is one of our favorite favorite heart healthy meals that we like to make during the holidays it really brings us like comfort and joy this is a meal that I learned how to make from one of my aunts I don't know I really love this meal I really love my aunt like she has a special place in my heart this is a recipe that she taught me like years ago and I have never let it go like I only make chicken and dumplings whenever we have a special family event going on and we just need a huge meal like a huge heart healthy meal that means something to us so tonight I'm going to be sharing that meal with you guys and I'm so excited because like I said it's one of my favorite meals on top of that today has been an exciting day because I got two new things in the mail oh my god I got two new things in the mail that I have been waiting seriously like two days to get but it felt like forever because y'all like this was such a blessing like I didn't even know that I was gonna get this so just to have this I feel so good like I'm trying so hard to contain my excitement and I know Jake went is too because y'all like we are so happy and I can't wait to share it with you guys because it goes along with like our home transformations and what we're going to be doing here in our home that I've been talking about so I'm pretty excited to be sharing that with you on top of that Jake and I we had to go to the store last night and we picked up a lot of different things that we're gonna put out for the kids party so I'm gonna be sharing a haul of those items and also like a haul of the kids Santa gifts and then we have to go pick up the kids because they have had a Christmas sleepover at my sister's for the past two nights and I am just so grateful my sister and I during this Christmas break we've really been trying to help each other out because we both work and we both have a lot of different things going on so we've really been coming together trying to make things happen for each other and I'm like I don't know like I'm so blessed to have my sister I'm gonna go pick them up and then we have to run to the store I have to get my eyebrows done, cook dinner, share a haul, get the house cleaned up. Jake has seriously been cleaning like non-stop. I appreciate him, y'all, because I love him so much. Like, he's even sweeping right now. Okay, you guys. So, here in the kitchen, it's about, like, 1226. I'm going to go ahead and get the chicken going for our chicken and dumplings. So, we have a whole chicken here, and then I have some chicken bouillon cubes. I know that the chicken is going to make its own broth, but we're going to use the chicken bouillon cubes just for like a little bit of enhanced flavor because we like it like that. Here's my big pot that I picked up from Ross, I believe. This is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite pot that we have like for soup and things like that, for chicken and dumplings because it's so big and it's so deep. It's non-stick and it was so cheap. Like it's like I love it. This is one of the best pots that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this chicken going. I'm gonna put it in here. Whenever I'm cooking our chicken for the chicken and dumplings, I like to just make sure I season the chicken and I season the water. I'm just using a few seasonings like salt and pepper, some minced onion, and then I also have some seasoning at all. I think I use like a dash of oregano, but that is all the seasoning that I'm using and just a touch of salt and pepper. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we have our chicken going. I'm gonna let this cook for a few hours. So here's my outfit of the day. I just want to show y'all. I have this top from Shein, yes. And I really love it, this is one of my favorite tops. I really love this top, like I think it's really cute. I love the lace here at the top and how it just like disconnects right here. I feel like I have like, some really cute action going on. I really like it. My pants, I really just picked these pants up from Ross for seriously $11. And look at these pants, like these are some really cute. Yes, so comfortable, like you can move. I mean, I can't like dance in them, but you know, the kids think they're gonna get away, I'm gonna have to whoop, 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 You know? Um, Jake got him a super cute outfit too. So here's Jonah. So Jonah has his Adidas. His little cargo pants <laughs> with his red sweater. Oh, yeah, baby. 
So, Lyndon and Jaden are with my sister, but I'm gonna be sharing like a haul of some of the things we have here. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So we just have like a mix of things. We got some things for Simon from Walmart, and then we got some things for the kids from Target. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys. And we're gonna start off with the Target dollar spot first because I feel like we picked up some really cool things. So for London and Jonah, we picked up like these building blocks. London has like a little princess castle on it and I thought that was so cute. So I got this for London and Jonah. Got some bathtub toys. This is some dinosaur bathtub, like animal scenes. You know, they can stick these to the wall or color on them. Jonah, some Spider-Man. Then also got London the Frozen and Bad Time Activities. And that is it from the Target Dollar Spot. But from the clothes section, I picked up Jaden two pairs of khaki pants. Also want to pick him up like this Fortnite jacket. Jaden absolutely loves Fortnite and he has been asking for a Fortnite t-shirt, backpack, all types of things. So whenever I saw this jacket, I just knew he had to have it. So I want to pick it up for one of his Santa gifts. And for London, a new t-shirt. So we got the blue long sleeve t-shirt. So here's her dress. Her dress is really cute. I didn't give Jonah any clothes because Jonah is honestly stocked up on clothes and his birthday is seriously January 3rd. So I didn't get him too many things, but I did get him a few things because this is Christmas. But as far as clothes and things like that, we're going to wait until his birthday. For Jonah, this is Jonah's Santa gift. It is a little tykes mailbox. It has, over, it has over 50 activities, phrases, and songs for Jonah to learn and sing along with and play with. I just really love the mailbox theme. Like, I think it's really cool. So I picked it up for Jonah. And then for London, I went ahead and got her a Leap Start. This is an interactive learning system, like a book learning system. You can touch it and talk and talk with it. It has like a pen so you can follow along with reading and just do educational things. It goes all the way up. It starts off at level one. It starts off at preschool. Then you have pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, and then you can have to learn to read. This is her Santa gift. And then for Jaden, a leapfrog, a leap reader. This is a learn to read, and this is a 10 book mega pack leapfrog reader. And basically, it's the same as London's. Jaden can go along with the reading. It'll highlight the words if you touch it with his pen, and he can just read along with it. Jaden has been really struggling with his reading, so I thought this would be a good Santa gift to get for him. So this is what we picked up for him, and it already comes with the little books. You can also continue to add books as well. Like these aren't the only books that you get to have when it comes to the leapfrog readers. We can get other books as well. But I figured we can start off with Jaden, and then we can move this down to Jonah or even London. But London has her own, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then for Simon, I went ahead and picked up two cute cat bowls. Two just some new food bowls for him to eat. And then I picked up a new cat collar. So this is just a red, yellow, a red, yellow, and green cat collar. It has peace signs all over it and a little bell. I thought that was really cute. And then we picked up like this little bird cage. Oh my goodness, y'all. As soon as I pick it up, it's going to start singing. So then, oh, it didn't sing. So then I picked up like this little bird cage. It sings as well, but it's so annoying. But every time Simon has heard it, like Simon has been getting super excited. So I picked up that little bird cage for him. And then also got him like a new little brush to brush out his fur because he really needs a bath. But I thought this brush was so cute and it was only just a couple dollars. Like it's so cute. Some shampoo and body wash. This shampoo will condition and detangle his fur. So I feel like Simon really needed that. And plus he really needed a bath. So I got him some body wash. We also just got him like a variety pack of toys. We also got him like a little play mat. I think that completes everything for the haul. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work on getting these things put away into their Santa bags. We also, I also have to go out and get my eyebrows done and my mustache waxed and then get the kids from my sister house. I don't know how all of this is about to play out, but I'm going to take you guys along with us because we have a lot of different things that we have to do. Like I got two packages in the mail today. I also have another package down here that I'm going to have to take upstairs and get put away. I just have a lot of different things I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So I really hope y'all are enjoying this video. I can smell that chicken in the pot y'all and I'm just getting so excited when it comes to the chicken and dumplings. But for right now, I'm just about to go ahead and get these things put away and then we're going to head out.
All right, you guys, so I am super duper excited. We just got our dining room table put up and I'm so excited because we're gonna be having chicken and dumplings tonight and just be having it up on our new dining room table. Oh, well, wait, we don't even have any chairs. So we're about to go ahead, get this chicken taken out and then we still have to run some errands. So we're gonna take the chicken out, set it to the side, get our chicken broth and things like that and set it to the side. We're gonna head on out because we still haven't gone out yet and then we're gonna come back and make dinner. Once our chicken had cooked for a few hours, it was basically falling off the bone. So I just wanted to go ahead and take it out so I can go ahead and take all the bones out and set it aside for our chicken and dumplings. Here, you got this big old thing. Dang, this stuff really is falling apart. You guys, before we head out, since the chicken is done, I wanted to make Jonah like a quick sandwich. I made him a chicken sandwich with some ranch. Y'all, anytime I'm cooking, there's always someone next to me ready to go ahead and just snatch up a bite, but I had to go ahead and make Jonah some anyways, so that's what I'm doing here. So I have a two pack of Grand's Biscuits. This is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna share like my way to get our dumplings perfect because you have to do the Grand's Biscuit a certain way for it to turn out right. Unless they're gonna turn out like fluffy and nasty and not cooked all the way through. So but whenever I'm cooking with Grand's Biscuits, I like to make sure I have some flour and a rolling pin. I like to roll our biscuit dough. This way I'm able to create like the square or rectangle dumplings that we're used to and not balls or triangles. When I first made this recipe, I didn't roll out our dough and it swelled up in the water and the dumplings honestly didn't cook correctly. The middle of them were still underdone and honestly way too thick after the dough like swelled up in the water. So after this discovery, I've always just used flour with the biscuits and our rolling pin before I cut them and it makes a huge difference.
Here are the dumplings that we have from the Grands. As you guys can see, my hands are messy because that's what a southern meal is. You get messy. So we have our dough. I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator and let it chill because we're not going to start cooking just yet. So right now I'm just going to put this in there, let it chill for a little bit. We have our chicken, we have our broth, and now we have our dumplings. So we're going to let this chill and I'll finish it whenever I get back. All right, you guys, so once we were back home from getting the kids and just running a few errands, I just wanted to wash my hands so I could go ahead and get our dumplings cut up. Right now, they're in the refrigerator chilling, but it's not gonna take long at all to go ahead and get them cut up and add them to our chicken broth. Since everything was already done, it would probably take like 20 to 30 minutes. So here we have our dumplings. As you can see, these are square. I think these look like real dumplings. I really love them. I think they look cute. I know that it takes time getting your dumplings to look like squares, but I love to do this because flattening out your dough and cutting it into little squares, really making it look like little dumplings. I feel like that's really cute. And then I also have some egg noodles because I don't have quite enough dumplings, so I'm just gonna add in some egg noodles. You probably won't even be able to tell the difference. But we also have our chicken right here our dumplings, and then we have some egg noodles, and then we're just gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so I did go ahead and get some celery taken out, and I couldn't find any cream of chicken, so we have some cream of mushroom for tonight. So we'll see how this tastes.
What do you think, Jacob? It's thick. It look good. I was eating on the chicken while I was sitting out, so. <laughs> we're excited, <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and eat. All right, you guys, so welcome back. Tonight, we're gonna be doing things a little bit different. We all have our Christmas pajamas on. I have my niece Kaylee here with me. I just love her so much. But we have all of our babies here, here tonight, so I'm gonna try to take you guys along with us to share like some Christmas theme activities that we're gonna do with the kids, some crafts, as well as like setting up for a special thing that they have going on in the next few days. So I'm gonna be sharing all the special activities with you guys tonight and I'm pretty excited about that. I have been vlogging, cleaning, and also working in between, so I'm kinda like, I'm getting a little bit mixed up. I've been filming several different videos at one time, so that's why I'm like a little bit all over the place. But tonight I'm gonna be sharing our activities and I'm super excited about this. We just got our new table in and I feel like it came in just in time. We all have our Christmas pajamas on. We got everything set up and I'm just super excited to share it. All right, you guys, so here I just want to share like a quick look at everything Jake and I had out that we're gonna be getting into tonight. We had snowflakes, gingerbread men, and Christmas trees to decorate. We went ahead and put the parchment paper down to protect the table and then set the table up for the kids so we can get ready to paint and do cookies and all the crafts. Our plan tonight with the gingerbread man, the Christmas trees, and the snowflake was to glue whatever they chose onto the bags and then we were going to hang them up. The kids didn't know that they were going to be having a party, so to them this was just like a fun craft that we usually have fun doing. But during this holiday season, we really just want to do like a little bit more for them and decorate for Christmas with everything that they decorated by hand. My sister had came over later this evening, but we weren't done with making crafts or anything like that yet, so she joined in on the fun. We had a lot of fun making crafts, and we really did try to make cookies tonight as well, but it didn't turn out how we expected, so we opened gifts and made crafts, and we still made the best of this evening, even though the cookies didn't turn out how we wanted them to. It was all good because the crafts turned out perfect.
Once we were done with crafts and cleaning up behind ourselves, we said goodbye to Kaylee and my sister and we put the kids in the bathtub, watched a movie, and did other activities on this evening. They were honestly out like a light after all that we did, so then Jake and I had the opportunity to decorate, but first we needed to speed clean from earlier, so we did that and then we added our crafts from tonight as decor for the Christmas party. I didn't add any Christmas decor to this area. We used it to let the kids crafts dry, so I'm just gonna get them moved and wipe down this before we head into the living room. Actually, we have to hang our wreath and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the living room. Jaquan hung the wreath that we had in our dining room with some yarn. We picked up some decor pieces from the Family Dollar. They have a huge party decor dollar spot, so we found a bunch of cute items to add in along with the crafts to create the Christmas party surprise for our babies today. So on Christmas Eve, we always open a gift, we watch movies, eat popcorn, play games, and make crafts. This year wasn't that different for us. The only thing that we did switch up was the fact that we decorated to have a Christmas party and to be in that Christmas spirit on Christmas Day. But let me know down in the comments what are some things that you do on Christmas Eve that just brighten up your spirit and get you ready for the holiday.
Once Jake and I were done just hitting the living room with the speed clean, it was finally time to go in and just add in those decor pieces for the kids. The first thing that I'm going to do is just add a table running to our TV stand. We already had some really cute decor pieces on our TV stand, so adding the Christmas table runner just really set the place off. But not only did I add the table runner, we also added like some peppermints and some bales, and it looked really cute, and it all came together for Christmas. On our ceiling, we wanted to add some decorative tissue paper inspired by peppermint colors. Jaquen did this for my birthday this year, and I really loved it, and our babies were so extremely happy. I think they were happier than me. So we just decided to go ahead and do this for them on Christmas. Not only that, but with all four of us having birthdays back-to-back -back starting in October and ending in January, and with us having so many different things going on during this Christmas season, I just thought that it would be a really good idea to give them a Christmas party so they can enjoy their day especially since we haven't really been able to do the things we've wanted to do up on their birthdays this Christmas party was perfect for them Along with the ceiling decor, we added some mini pom-poms to the tissue paper to spice it up a bit where the corners connect or just where we taped it to the ceiling So while Jacob was finishing up with the tissue paper, I wanted to decorate our lamps a bit. I rolled some red and white burlap around the pole of the lamp, and honestly, I think it turned out so beautiful. I got the idea from how candy canes are wrapped, and I just wanted to bring it to life. Since we do have two lamps on the side of our sofa, I just wanted to keep that Christmas theme going, and I didn't want the lamps to be plain. And this was the best idea that I came up with on the spot, but I really love how it turned out.
Once I was able to get the burlap around the lamps, we wanted to decorate the doorway leading into the dining room. Jacqueline's idea was the paper hanging down and then I wanted to add some burlap to the corners to make it look like bows. I also added some burlap to our clock so it looks like a cute bow by the handle so I can't wait to share that with you guys too. So last but certainly not least because this was everyone's favorite favorite part about the decor today we just want to go ahead and add the remaining balance of our Christmas trees the gingerbread man and the snowflake we went ahead and put them on the ceiling and had them hanging down and it felt so good like we all felt like we were in the Christmas spirit all day long just seeing all this decor everywhere it felt so good and so beautiful. Here in the dining room, Jake and I, we really wanted to hang some of the kids' artwork. So we made like a super cute DIY yarn garland. And then we just added some pom-poms to the end of the garland. And then like I said, we just hung up their art decor. And it was so freaking cute. Like it really just tied the whole dining room together. The next day, here's how everything turned out the morning of Christmas. It was so lovely and so fun surprising the kids with the Christmas party. It was most definitely something we'll have to continue doing each year because we loved how this look turned out. Once London, Jaden, and Jonah came downstairs, they were honestly in such shock. They were so happy the whole entire day. 
we just opened gifts, played with their toys. We went to my sister's house and we just had a really good time. So I wanted to include some of those clips for you guys. I really hope you enjoy it. And then later on, we're going to go ahead and get some cleaning done too. So make sure you stay tuned. Everyone, you can... <laughs> you got ponies. Yeah, you make a play together. Hey. This is a train, Dad. Let me see, Jaden. It's a train, Jones. Let me see. Oh my goodness. I got a train right now. You got a train right oh, now. Oh, they have a girl right there. Yeah. These are star glitter lights. You like put them on your ceiling. Yeah. You ready for your room to blow up in my time? Yeah! Yo! Yeah. 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 What is this? I got a popper troll, Mom! I got a popper troll, Mom! You did? You got a popper troll? Ah! Grab your gift from under the tree, London. So later in the evening after we came home from my sisters, the kids played some more with their cousin and before bed we got the chance to do like a speed clean of the living room and then we had the kids take their toys upstairs. Christmas was honestly a fun filled day and usually on Christmas we relax and don't even worry about cleaning but a quick speed clean of our living room was needed so it doesn't get too out of control before the new week. So that's all we tackled and then we ended the night watching Home Alone. I did notice today while I was cleaning, which I didn't really notice it whenever I was wrapping up all the gifts, but the kids have a lot of Christmas toys that came with a lot of very, very tiny, small pieces, like tiny, like Lego tiny small. They have a lot of toys that came with super small pieces like that, so I was going around trying to get those organized before we even took them upstairs so they didn't lose them. I had Ziploc bags, drawer organizers, everything already pulled out so it can get organized as soon as they took it upstairs.
Jaquan was using our craft cart just to hold out the boxes as we were throwing things away. We were getting so tired of just, you know, folding these boxes down and just walking back and forth. So we just stacked them all up on the rolling cart and then Jaquan took them outside. Alrighty, you guys, that is the end of our family weekly vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed just coming along with us, getting some things done this holiday season as we cook, clean, and surprise our kids with the Christmas party setup. I really hope you guys enjoyed this motivation. I have this motivation and so much more motivation to share with you guys in the future. So if you enjoy motivation like this, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below so I know to make more videos like this. And without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!